What's up, Nine Toes fans? Uh, so this morning we're heading out. It's Sunday morning. We're going to head out to Potholes Reservoir, and we're going to do a little cold water bassin challenge. So I'm not exactly sure what the water temp's going to be yet. It's a little early. Normally we don't put our boats in the water in February here, but it's been pretty mild. Uh, so uh, why not? We're going to give it a shot. It's going to be 55 degrees. Uh, the winds aren't going to be too bad, so we're going to get the boat out for the first time of the year uh, and do a little bit of fishing. So uh, the challenge today is catching a fish on, I think I'm going to use six different things. <clears throat> so uh, I want to catch a fish on each one of those techniques before I leave the lake. Uh, so I could be there literally for like a week. Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to run a football jig. Uh, the fish are going to be deep, 15, 20 feet of water. Um, I've seen this method used a lot in cold water, uh, so I'm going to give it a shot. But a football jig and a watermelon and probably a black and blue, uh, those are going to be the colors I'm going to kind of go with. Uh, so that's technique one. Number two, we're going to use a lunker hunt hatch spin. Uh, try and crawl that across the bottom or close to the bottom. Uh, we're going to give that a shot. We're going to go to my two uh, bread and butter tactics, which is crankbaits and jerk baits. So we're going to run the Rapala Deep Down Husky Jerk uh, in a silver and like a shaddish color. Uh, so we're going to give that a shot. We're going to give, uh, we're going to run the KVD uh, 6XD from Strike King. Uh, I've got three different patterns I want to try. I want to try the Ghost Shad, Chartreuse she Sexy Shad, I can, you can hardly say it, uh, and then just the standard Sexy Shad color. Uh, we're going to run a Ned Rig uh, in a bunch of different colors. We're going to run a Drop Shot uh, in a few different colors. Uh, and then last but not least, we're going to we're gonna let loose the Alabama Rig. Never used one of those before, or A Rig, or, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but we're going to give that a shot as well uh, this weekend. Um, you know, I think cold water, those are all really good techniques to use. Um, so stay tuned. We're going to have some pretty good footage for you today. Uh, can't wait. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, click subscribe, please. Click the little bell icon. You'll get alerted when I have new videos up. Uh, until next time, tight lines, guys, and thanks a lot for watching.
Coast fans. We are the evening before takeoff uh, for the uh, cold water challenge. Uh, getting the boat ready. There she is. She is getting ready. Got some things I need to clean up. Put some rails back on before tomorrow. Stuff like that. So something to do here now. Uh, so we'll take you along for the ride. And then tomorrow morning we will head out. Have some fun. Hopefully catch some fish. Not freeze our butts off. Uh, forecast still calling for 57 degrees, chance of rain maybe later on in the afternoon, uh, but uh, spotted showers, so it shouldn't be too bad. And then, uh, should be good weather for some walleye. Called down at the resort today, they said uh, weather is fantastic, the people, uh, uh, not a lot of pressure, um, and the walleye should be killing it uh, due to uh, the nice weather. So we're going to throw uh, another lure into the mix, and that is the blade bait. Uh, see if we can't catch some deep water walleye. So uh, we'll stay tuned. We'll see you. Out. All right, guys. It is the day of the cold water challenge. We are getting ready to head out. Really getting ready to load up. We have got all of the tackle ready to go. We've got all of the rods rigged up. Cold water bass challenge starts now all right folks so we are back from the cold water bassin challenge um, as you'll see in the video uh, things didn't go quite as planned um, we uh, we struggled uh, the water was really really cold still uh, 34 35 degrees uh, and that is not conducive to uh, to catching uh, giant smallmouth, largemouth. Uh, saw a few people out there catching a few walleyes. Uh, we tried blade baiting and and did that for a little while, but nothing really uh, nothing really worked out. Um, that's okay though. Uh, we had some other adventures, as you'll see in the video. Um, I am really glad that I uh, paid attention to. Um, learning how to drive a boat in uh, uh, big wind on a big lake with big waves because uh, it was uh, it got crazy there towards the end so uh, anyways uh, we got a little bit of fishing footage for you uh, a little bit of boat driving in the uh, big waves uh, not quite the video I had planned but uh, nonetheless uh, bad day on the water beats a good day just about anywhere else so uh, Enjoy the video, guys, uh, and we will see you. All right, we're starting the challenge. I'm going to be throwing a 6XD. Man over there is going to be throwing a 5XD. We're going to try and crank some smallmouth or largemouth. I'm currently going to miss one on the very first cast. A lot of mucky weeds. good. That's what you want. I'm going to get down there and just kind of slow crawling it over all those rocks.
My folks have abandoned the challenge. The challenge now is can we catch a fish? <laughs> what? Abort. Yep. Aborting the original plan. The plan now is just to catch a damn fish. We're going to try a little bit of everything. New challenges. Person who catches the most fish wins. I have a feeling at this point it's going to be whoever catches a fish wins. <laughs> well, it's still cold. The water's pretty cold, but I would have thought we would have uh, found some by the dam or somewhere. We, we, I mean, we got tons of time, so We'll find them, but so far this morning, it's not looking too promising. Now normally these rocks will hold, you know, a lot more um, heat. And so you know, we might get lucky, and they might be up here in you know, 10, 12 feet of water, but. I think the majority of what we'll find will be out deep, but once we get up around this corner, we'll kind of cut straight ahead of where we are now. Um, generally mark a lot of fish in that area, so. Turn to probably drop shot and Ned rig. We basically just let it sink down to the bottom. We were in the right in the middle of that. The two uh, Reel it and pop it, apparently.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah.